Welcome back. Well, you know, I promised you a few weeks ago that I was going to show you my new 30 6 when it came in. And it did, uh, but life got in the way. I had a few things around the house I had to do before the winter closes in on me. I had to put it in a back porch. And we had uh, illness in our family that I had to attend to, visiting people, uh, visiting a person at the hospital. So, um, in the meantime, this came, and this is a beautiful Webley and Scott Empire. Uh, this is a fantastic, fantastic rifle. I mean, in all the ways, uh, tremendous build quality. It's made by Hawa. Uh, now, Hawa uh, has a reputation for uh, extraordinarily uh, good accuracy. Uh, they were the company that, uh, for many years, built the Weatherby series of rifles, including the uh, renowned Mark V that I spoke of in one of my videos. They built very, very strong rifles that harken back to uh, the days of World War II. They, the company uh, built the Japanese Arasaka rifle, which was credited as being probably stronger than Paul Mauser's own uh, Model 98. The, um, the rifle has got a lot of uh, interesting features. Besides its uh, very high luster, which is I mean, just, just like a uh, uh, Colt Python or you know, an old Colt Sauer rifle, uh, Weatherby, I mean, this is, it doesn't get any prettier than that as far as the luster goes. Uh, it's got this uh, beautiful, real uh, rosewood four-end tip. And this is not this is not plastic rendition or anything like that. This is real rosewood, uh, and it's also got a rosewood uh, cap on the uh, pistol grip. Nice, uh, firm but soft butt pad. Um, it's got a uh, detachable uh, box magazine, which also has a very high luster because it's steel and uh, it's got a nice two-point lockup. It locks up front and rear uh, with a unique design of parallel locking bars that go back through. Uh, the trigger guard is uh, lightweight aluminum but it's got a very high luster which matches the uh, barrel uh, which is not, is, from what I can see, it's not anodized. It looks like it's uh, there was, a, there was a type of finish that was very common many years ago, especially in the railroad, uh, among railroad parts and tools and lands. It was called Japanning. It was a, a type of black lacquer that was applied to things that was very, very durable. Um, and that's why it was used in uh, the railroad industry. So, but it's got a lot of uh, very interesting features. I've had it out shooting it. Um, I've got this... Um, Three to nine loophole scope on it that I bought as a it was a bargain. I bought it for about $145 a few years ago, and I use it to just test test rifles like this to get uh, to get uh, loads worked up. Uh, but I'll be taking this scope off and putting on something that's usable for my um, geography. This uh, three to nine three three power is absolutely too powerful for my area. Um, but its most interesting feature. Is uh, that is, this is just extraordinary? It has a remarkable tendency to change. Went from a walnut stock with rosewood floor and tip and grip cap to this hogue over molded stock. It says Howard right here on the uh, pistol grip. Fascinating, isn't it? Believe it or not, came in the same box, all the same rifle. Um, I should say the same purchase. Um, extraordinary bargain. Now, it said, in fact, it came in the box with this stock right here. It came with the uh, overmolded stock mounted on the uh, barreled action. I'll bring this up a little closer so you can see it. You can see that fantastic uh, gloss, and um, it's got uh, it's got all the uh, best safety features. It's got um, a three-position safety so that you can have one for fire, one to locks up the trigger, but you can still operate the bolt, and the third position 
locks up the bolt and the trigger. Um, the uh, bolt cap is uh, made of steel, very high polished, the same as the rest of the gun. Uh, it's got a uh, nicely jeweled bolt and as you can see it's got vents at the bottom of the bolt, gas vents in the event of a uh, case rupture. It'll direct the gases downward safely. It's, um, it's got a very convenient uh, side mounted bolt release right here. It's uh, easy to get out with a gloved hand. It's got a caulking, caulking indicator right here, red caulking indicator, which is also tactile. You can feel that with, uh, even with a gloved hand on. I think I could feel that. And uh, as I told you, it's got a, it's got a beautiful uh, removable um, box magazine, detachable box magazine, a uh, checkered, checkered bolt handle right here. Look at that. Uh, this is this is fine stuff. It's uh, in the 22 inch barrel. Uh, it's a fairly heavy taper. It's got a traditional it's got a traditional crown on it, which is uh, good for uh, maintaining its accuracy. If it uh, gets bumped, it's not likely to damage it. So it's got it all, um, and it also uh, has very good accuracy too. Um, the uh, entire the entire package, believe it or not, and it's still out there. Um, now I don't, you know, I don't. I'm not sp sponsored by anybody, and nobody's paying me, so I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be telling, uh, you know, what the dealership was that. Uh, had this particular um, offering, it was certainly not packaged by them because uh, it came in this it came in this hollow factory box right here. So I'm sure it's probably available uh, through other sources. Um, but it's um, it's the uh, Empire, the Webley and Scott Empire rifle. The rifle alone would have been a great deal because it was four hundred and sixty-four dollars and change. Uh, but with the extra stocks, with, with two stocks, especially one that, uh, of that quality. This, this is um, Japanese, I should say, uh, Italian. It's, just, it's Italian walnut. Uh, the figure is not, you know, it's not the, it's not the prettiest figure in the world. Uh, it's a, uh, probably a little bit dated with this uh, white line spacer and things like that, but it's got nice fine line checkering. Uh, it's got a uh, it's got a cl classic uh, comb. It doesn't have a raised Monte Carlo, but it has it has a uh, cheek piece that's uh, good and usable for a right-handed shooter. And both both uh, the walnut and uh, over molded stock have got uh, pillar bedding, uh, both fore and aft. Uh, there's a Right here, this, 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 uh, these two, these two spots right here. Uh, this is epoxy that's uh, poured in around uh, what looks looks like a uh, about a three about a three six inch three sixteenths inch diameter screw uh, to bolster the back of that recoil surface, so you won't have that blow out. Matter of fact, years ago I did have a uh, thirty oh six where that that section of the recoil lug was blown out um, probably during the factory testing because when I received it it was already like that. So these are great features um, and that again that pillow bedding goes down to the bottom of the uh, all the way down flush. So I've yet to try the accuracy with the walnut stock and uh, perhaps I'll do that and compare the accuracy. I, I presume that they're going to be very very similar has got a tremendous uh, reputation for accuracy. It doesn't have quite the um, it doesn't have quite the free floating relief that I uh, desire. I, I like to have around fifty thousandths of an inch or um, five business cards uh, thickness that you can pass down through the barrel. This has got about uh, I would say it's about uh, one and a half business cards. I can get. One in easily, and that'd be ten thousandths, and the other one I can get in if I force it. So uh, it's probably about a, it's probably about five thousandths extra. But anyway, um, it's a great deal. Uh, there's no way I can fault it for that kind of money. No matter what, no matter what the rifle is for, for less than five hundred dollars, 
Uh, that was a tremendous deal. I'll just give you a hint. It came from a uh, Houston, Texas um, based outfit. Um, but again, I'm not advertising for anybody. So, what sort of accuracy does it have? Now, how uh, I should say Legacy is the name of the company that uh, produces the that owns the Howell line and, and produces the, the empire, <clears throat> the uh, Webley Scott empire. Um, and they guarantee uh, MOA accuracy for three shots, I believe is what they said, three shot accuracy MOA. Well, as a matter of fact, I, I just took it out to the range the other day um, and I was using reformed 270 Winchester cases that I had on hand, that I they had reformed for this purpose. And I was just shooting 150 grain Sierra flat base, um, just standard hunting bullets, not, not match grade bullets. And I was using IMR 4064 powder, which I've had uh, previously uh, very good results with. Now, it certainly, it certainly met the standards of MOA because I've got, let's see here, I've got out of five groups, three of them, uh, were less than MOA, considerably less. This one here is, uh, let's see, this one here is 0 0.820, and that's four shots, not, not three, that's four shots, 0 0.820. This one here, this fine group is uh, 0 0.895. This is a five, this is a, a half a grain uh, increment more. Um, this group down here was uh, only uh, 1.908 that would be see that's that's where you know uh, load variations can mean a lot because uh, at this 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 particular load certainly uh, wasn't uh, meeting the harmonics of that barrel uh, and the first the first group was 1.210 in the middle here and uh, that that's still not a bad that's still not a bad not by any means. That's not a bad group at all. I'd I'd go hunting. I'd go hunting big game any place in the planet with that group. Um, and uh, here we have uh, this nice looking load here, point nine four four. Uh, it probably this this load here, even though it even though it's a couple of tenths uh, larger, it's a yeah. It's the 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 other smallest one is point. The smallest one is point. Uh, 820, but you can see there's a certain quality to this group here, uh, the way the, the shots are clustered. I would probably give this one the nod uh, for uh, fine accuracy. Uh, there, there are three that are actually, uh, there are three that are actually grouped in a, in a small cluster. And this flyer could have been me, it could have been Mirage, uh, anything like that. So, uh, the gun certainly can shoot. I would say, on the basis of my my experience in, uh, you know, dealing with rifles all my life and working up loads, I've only just begun. I've only tested the uh, IMR4064 powder. I've got some loads here I want to work up uh, for mid-range loads uh, down on the 2600 foot per second level uh, with Varget powder, uh, which possibly may pan out. Um, but. Um, it's been my experience that whenever you have a rifle that can shoot quality groups like that, even the even the worst of them, the groups didn't have they, they didn't tend to string in a line. They tended to uh, shoot into a uh, round uh, you know a round group. Uh, when you have a when you have a rifle that has that consistent kind of quality, usually you'll find a sweet spot where things will just all of a sudden come right down. And it could be uh, it, it could be just uh, a matter of finding a different powder. Perhaps my my seating depth is uh, 20 thousandths of an inch from the rifling. Uh, moving it back and forth a little bit could possibly increase the accuracy. I'm going to probably try 15 thousandths. For a hunting rifle, I certainly don't like to get any closer than 15 thousandths because there's a possibility that a long bullet um, could easily uh, jam in your uh, rifling and there's, there's, no, there's no game shot on earth that's going to know the difference between uh, you know, a, an eighth of an inch uh, or a quarter of an inch is just not going to happen. So that's it. Um, I wanted to show you this uh, fabulous, lovely rifle. Um, I think there's, there might be 
I, I'm kind of suspicious about the fact that it has such a low price tag and that it came with that bargain of two, two uh, stocks. Um, it's listed in several calibers in the uh, catalog that was produced uh, a few years ago. I think the catalog was produced in 2017 or something. And uh, it listed a number of calibers, but the only one I found is in 3006 uh, from a couple of different uh, retail sources. So I'm just, I'm hoping that this Webley and Scott is not something that's just a passing, uh, that's a passing uh, thing that's going to fade out of existence. Um, if I can do, if I can do the rifle any service at all, I can tell you that uh, I wouldn't be ashamed of owning one of these, and I do own one, and I would recommend uh, to anybody who's looking for a great bargain uh, to get, uh, you know, this, this is really a, a super upgraded Howa. Um, and when I say that, it even comes with it even comes with the the whole user's manual for the 1500 uh, series rifle. So um, it's it's essentially the same rifle. There are, there are some there are some upgrades as I showed you, uh, and there's also a, there's also a terrific upgrade in the trigger itself. The trigger is very very crisp. Um, I measured it, and it's uh, this is two and a half pounds. Um, really really nice and you can increase the uh, poundage uh, I think right up to about uh, five or six pounds. It's very crisp, no over travel whatsoever. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic bargain. So we're going to get out and shoot it I think today and um, I'll report back to you uh, if I find if uh, there's any uh, better loads in this but Benny's doing super. Um, Everybody uh, is uh, doing great around here, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and God bless.